19.79 and the standard deviation is given to us uh, 1.96 so we want the probability that x is greater than or equal to not with 0 of course now of course it's all 1 greater than or equal to 21 and compute and this is the area so see here is 21 and this is the area to the right and this is 0.2685 or 26.85 percent not in the z now if I want to use z I have to put the z the standard deviation that uh, I would I need to put the mean is zero so keep this in mind let me write it down point so the area is 0.2685 we have to get the exact same number with zero and one and greater than uh, 0 0.61 what you gave me 734 and the answer has to be the same thing this 0 0.2685 it doesn't matter what I use I either use the, the z-score for that entry or the entry from the data set, but then I use the standard deviation and the mean of the data set or the distribution I have, in other words. So that's how we determine with StatCrunch probabilities. Okay, oh, I didn't mean to stop sharing, sorry. I meant to go back to the problem. Will that allow me to? Unbelievable, it just disappeared because I went to StatCrunch? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. So the other way around works. Okay, it stays there. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just realized that we have one more minute. So if you want to just, let's work on this one. Find probabilities associated with distributions that are standard normal distributions equivalent to. So find, finding probabilities associated with distributions that are standard normal is equivalent to. Let's see. Finding, finding the z-scores associated with the probabilities. Find the area of the shaded region representing that probability. Finding the variance of the distribution. So finding probabilities associated with distributions that are standard normal is equivalent to finding the mean, no. Finding the z-scores. In order to determine the probabilities, we have to find the z-scores. Finding the area of the shaded region representing their probability. Um, I, I need to do this. I need to find the, I mean, the variance is not necessary. I need to do this, but it's finding the area because finding probabilities uh, is finding the area of the shaded region representing that probability. But I do have to find the z-scores, that's true. So I don't know what, you know, it's a little bit ambiguous, the question. Okay. So um, I consider completed 7.1 and 7.2. I already know that some of you are way ahead, that's fine. But please finish 